So hi and welcome back. So in the part before we created the modeling part of the American football ball and now we're going to the textures. So uh, before uh, I will go to Photoshop, I will render myself a model just to use like a reference picture. So I will go to the front view, maybe zoom a bit on that to make it wider and just click render. Doesn't matter how it looks so far, I just need to see some parts. So we'll make a copy of that, let's go to Photoshop and place it here. Now here I will use the magic wand, delete everything black and place it into the scene. Now I found, as you can see, a very nice letter texture which I would like to use. And to make everything how I wish to have, I will make it just, or transform it a bit to make it bigger. So I will use as the base this letter texture which I have here. Now uh, of course we will have there some bumps and we have to also make the bumps to the to the details but not all details will be like a bump map. So I would like to firstly start with details which will use also the bump. I have here the reference picture again. It's very small, but it's big enough. And the only bumps which I see here are these parts. Now, uh, what I can do to make it like it's on the image, I will place it here, reference picture. We'll again make this bigger like a ball or quick render which we did. Turn down the opacity and place it above this. So this kind of detail will be just on the one part. I'll move that a bit. and place it somewhere here. Now, I just need to see the black parts now. And what I will do, I will check my pen tool, make a vector, which will be copying the part of this detail. Now, this is the one option. The second is, we'll make this detail one by one. I'm thinking now uh, that I will do it the other way. So, sorry for this. Just delete the part. And what I mean with that, like by one by one, by one is, uh, we'll take some time to do that, but I think it will be great. Uh, I will make here just a selection like this. Yep. Now, I will refine the selection. Let's go to select, modify, and apply feather with you know, two pixels maybe. And I will fill this with white. I don't know if the feather was enough. Now, let's use three. Three will be enough. Select, modify. I don't know. Now this detail um, looks uh, like uh, like a black line, but when I was looking on some other pictures, it wasn't like a black line, but it was a sewing, so it was like a black spot, the spot of the ladder, and so on. I don't know how to translate to English this, <coughs> but I think if you know the the balls, uh, you will see, uh, you will know. So Control G. Uh, group. I will keep it like a one. And what I will do is that I will copy this part by one and create this detail like this. I know uh, this is a bit like time thing, but also I think it would be great detail there.
So, just like this, very slowly, we'll copy, probably sometimes rotate the parts and we create or follow the line which I have uh, on the background. So, we are creating now the bump. And this and the ladder bump is the only bumps which I see there, or which we will use. We will not do any else. And because of that, uh, we will firstly make the bump, bump map, and after do the rest. I think it would be great. Very nice detail. It will make what I want. Of course, it can look also strange at the end. But I guess it would be nice. Okay, we are almost done. Oh, well, better, we are almost in the half. And for the upper part, we will just copy this. We will not, not create again one. It will be crazy. And you will kill me for that, I think. The rest of the details or the texture will be much easier to do. Don't worry if this will take some time. And also you can place there a bit more details uh, with the vector which I started to do. You could uh, combine this uh, with the vector map and create even a nicer bump. Oops, what is? But I think this will be enough. And this is also one of the details which we didn't model. And as you can see, model this won't be like hard if we will do it from a different object. But if we would like to place this to the main model, it will be time eating like hell. So if you want to sell this model, you will have to model everything. Make it really high quality and nice looking that someone would buy that. Okay, select all these small layers. Ctrl E, copy. I'll go to edit, transform in vertical axis and place this up. And we can look how it's looking. Oh, it's cool. Okay, I will turn everything off. Keep this one here. I will make a copy of this. Ctrl Shift U to de desaturate this one. <coughs> now I will invert. Image, invert. And also I will play a bit with the levels here. To create, <coughs> to create something like this. And this will hopefully be our bump map. So we'll save this like JPEG texture and bump. And we will see how we're looking. I hope great. Okay, uh, it's the bump map. We can turn this off. Also, this one. Turn this back on without this. And we can proceed with the texture. Now, uh, what we want to do here now are these white white lines. So I will track here these lines or guides, depend how you want to call them. Oops, like this. We'll make here the layer. We can also call this the layer lines. Uh, I'm not calling it now because it's really a quick quick texture making and you don't have to make any order. So, so make the selection, hold down shift, make this selection and simply fill this with white. Of course this will not be enough. 
we'll go place it here. We'll apply here the overlay a blending option. Now we'll copy this and apply, not multiply, I guess. The normal option and drag this down. To make something like this, just a white line, but still copying the surface which is here. Okay, so we have the lines. Maybe there should be more white. Okay. We'll use 70, 80 for that. As you can see, the overlay make the the highlights which we need. Okay, we have this. Yeah, it's looking better. Uh, again, we can do here some distortion again uh, with blur. So Gaussian blur. We'll zoom on that. And blur the edges. Let's go by five. It's, it's a lot, but it will be looking nice. Okay, so we have here the edge split. Next, we need the logo, some text. We'll use just the logos now. We will not do any anything else. So I have here the Wilson logo. It's here probably a different color. Yeah, it's some some kind of gold or something like that. Uh, we can use the red one or anything else. It's up to you. Uh, I will select the white areas like with the magic wand or selection or color range. So we can now use. The red if you want. Control C. We'll make a new layer with that. We can place it up. Here, how big it should be. Okay, it should be here down, of course, first. Pull a bit less, <coughs> something like that. The curving will do the actually the model, so have to be straight right now. You know, uh, it's a different color, everything is different there, so we'll try to make, of course, something similar. A nice looking how is this. So first of all, uh, we should change the color of that. So we can go to blending options. We can go to pattern no color overlay. We can even turn this on. And try to match the same color which we have there. Uh, the texture after we'll do the bottom. Or we can also use uh, this here by creating a clipping mask. Applying some mode, even that I don't know why we don't see that. Yeah, now it's good. So it will again make some effect there. So we can go to overlay, make it just much smaller, like this. And we have also the texture already, or the pattern of the this one, of the ladder on that. Okay, now we need the selection of that. We need selection and beneath this uh, we cannot we can try to apply or we can make border the black border which was sync also before we can go to modify expand we can try 10 10 should be good and we'll just simply apply here a black so we'll make this logo here looking like this uh, we can do the same 
by turning here the clipping mask also to the black even here it would be not seeing so much or almost uh, any so we'll just make this okay we'll make a new group make copy of the group we'll make transform vertical on that we'll turn this on And we'll just place it somewhere here. Horizontal and okay. Okay, so if we look on that, yeah, it's cool. Okay, so we have the the logo of Wilson there. Even that, I hope I can use that. It's not a advertisement don't worry and now I want uh, just something more like it's here day one we have already a bit less space there so I will drag this a bit near together here and I will use not the NFL logo but logo but our ah, logo here We'll place it here, we'll make it smaller, and I will use the same techniques which we did before. So you should know now how to do that very easily. So uh, we'll just copy this, place it above here, we'll create a clipping mask again to put there the texture of the background. We we'll make a selection, make a new layer, we'll expand the selection, modify expand. I'll place under that some black, or if you want, it should be probably better now. A bit white, but I will make, I guess, the selection smaller. So select, modify, expand, and I will use just six pixels, it should be enough. And I will fill it. Okay, we have this one, and again, we can use this, we can use the overall method directly on that. Multiply with that on the black surface or white surface. So we have here this logo here. I can probably turn this off. And now to the upper part we can we can put the NFL logo why not? Oh logo. Already a bit stupid I feel. Okay, so again it's not any kind of advertisement so don't take it like that. Just need kind of logo there. Okay, we'll just copy that, place it here, oops, we'll transform that, vertical, we can keep the horizontal, no, we need also in, oops, 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 not free transform, transform horizontal, we can make it a bit bigger, <coughs> and again, we apply this uh, on that. So create a clipping mask. And we'll see if the overlay will be working there. Yeah, it's it's enough how it's looking. Okay, and the off. and the texture is done. Okay, great. So I will save this. I'll go to JPEG texture. Let's go to Max and we'll see how we're looking on uh, football ball or rugby ball or I don't know. Okay, so let's go to the render setup and we'll change the render to mental ray. Mental ray, we'll go by pressing cam to the editor and we will use materials which we already have in our library. So, what I need. Slider using bitmap 
and I need fabric. I'll check this one a bit. Here I will not use texture but almost white. Oh okay this is not the best bump for this. Uh, yeah this will be I think a bit better. Yeah this is cool. I think also for this we can use the bump map if uh, or the bitmap. Alright or not. Doesn't matter. No no no. Uh, oops. I was just a uh, white color. We'll see how we're looking. Okay. Now this should this should be for the stripes here. So we'll select this. Go to edit. Select invert. And apply this one here. We'll already have everything textured in this view away. Now let's go here. Now for diffuse or for the next thing we need something else. But I think I will rather likely to use no I will use the ray trace material. And we'll see how we're looking. So I'll clear everything and let's go to the diffuse slot. We'll use this texture and to the bump we'll use of course our bump map. Make it visible, place it here. Now it's not how we would like to have it. Can we'll go to UV map, select everything, we'll open the editor. And we'll go to normal mapping and use back to front. Top to bottom probably. Yeah, this will be great. It's ah, oops. Just we need the texture. Okay, so let's say this is the <coughs> this is up. So I'll rotate that exactly like this, and I will place this one above. I would like to scale that. Oh, I would scale this a bit also. I'll just place it there. I think it should be fine. So the same here at the bottom. Try to rotate it. Probably the same like I was doing before. Scale that to the same shape and just place it under that. And I think I choose, yeah, I choose the Made it upside down. I wanted this here. Okay, one more time. Sorry. <coughs> or we can use. Or we can try to use just UV map. Uh, we will see how we'll be looking with that. It's absolutely the same. So we'll just save some time. We'll use the box. And the box will not work. Sorry, because we can use the planner. And. What we need now is to edit that a bit. <coughs> hmm. 
not in this direction. Oh, this is also fine. Um, not possible. Oh, this should be fine. Oops. Okay, I will use the UV map. It's probably not working like this. But we um, keep it from different angles that I did before. Sorry for this. Not back back to front it was. Yeah, it should be back to front. Or I'll try. I'll apply it like just like this. Yeah, it is back to front. That's good. But this is the bottom and this is the top. So unfortunately I have to do this one more time. For what I'm sorry of course. If I will choose the right thing at the beginning, it will be already done. So, so let's rotate what it is. So again, sorry, sorry for the delay in that. It was clearly just my fault. But again, I make it something like this. Okay, let's see. Yeah, now it's how I would like to have it. Okay, cool. I will group everything together. Because I think so everything is fine. No, we don't have to group it. I'm looking better. This is mirrored too. So let's go to the material editor and I can mirror this axis. Awesome. And now it's mirrored. It's like fine, but Everything is bad. And it, I will go two steps back. Impossible. So let's go back here. And what I will do at the end is that I will rotate it by 180 degrees. It will for sure not help. Okay. The texture is fine. This means That should be like this. So I'm guessing already. Yes, now it's fine. Horrible, horrible with me sometimes. Stuff like this shouldn't take much time. Sometimes takes me so much time that horrible. Okay, but I uh, we would like to have it like very nicely, nicely done. So sometimes it just takes some some more time to finish, especially by me. Okay, now it's how I would like to have it. <coughs> Almost. Now we can see I moved a bit. 
the part. So I will now select the bottom part. I will place it above this part. Yeah, it's bigger. And I will try to adjust these parts together. Will be again one by one because the other thing which I did before I made it a bit different in size. And now what I need is to place it here. A bit to the right. choose the next time a different method for this. Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, it's refreshing. Okay. Cool. Okay. Finally. Okay like this. We will render it like this. I don't care about anything else. Okay, how to render? I will make a plane. I will make it another big. 500, oh, 5000 to 5000. Apply a neutral material which was mm, material which is almost white. So let's go here. Diffuse and like this. Place it here. Now we'll select everything, deselect this, group that, and we'll just drag it a bit up, uh, probably from a different view. Okay, here we go. Now we'll change a bit the settings. So we'll make white screen of the render perspective. Oops, we'll show say frame turn off. Update it a bit. You can zoom on that or yes, we'll zoom a bit like this. Now again, we'll select everything, deselect the bottom. Make a copy, can rotate. <coughs> Place it somehow somehow like this. Okay. Now this will be our view to render. So we'll hit here create, create camera from view, not a free camera, so again create camera from view, you can go back to perspective and we'll assign the lights. So let's go here, lights, free light, yes. So the main light should go somewhere from here. Let's check the settings here, shadow zone, ray trace, uniform diffuse, rectangle, okay again rectangle, Make the rectangle, of course, bigger because here it's too small. This is too big for me, like this. Make a small rotation here, check it to local. Rotate in this axis that it's pointing actually to a balls. We'll check also or change the intensity here. You can go with the temperature up and down. You can do it like this. Now from the top view, you can do some fine tuning here. You can bit rotate. I think this was too much. Okay, like this. Copy the light. Rotate it here, we'll change the intensity, something smaller, and also the size. 
much smaller like we had before. Camera, rendering, exposure control which is very important. <coughs> we'll hit continue for this because everything what you saw is for the lines, those splines which we did. So we have to apply UV map on all. Now you can try to apply it at all at once, but then the UV will be assigned to a selection. This means that how big is your selection or how big is your selection of objects, that big will be also everything else. So it will not point to all the objects. But here we can do it like this and on the other object we can do it different. Because this is uh, a little bit near to the camera. And I think I already made this longer than I told. But it wasn't just caused by my mistakes, which I did accidentally, of course. So here on these 10 objects, we will apply UV map at once. Rendering exposure control again. More errors now. Okay, you know what this means? The lights are too low. <coughs> so we will use 850 here, here 250, this means that I will change this to 900. And I will try again, exposure, render preview, no, this is better. And we can do a test render, what do you, what do you think, so render setup. For the 16, I always use higher values, why not? 200 FG points. But maybe I will, anyway, make the lights bigger or lighter. Make this also a bit colder. This bigger too. Camera. And we will try the render. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so far so good. I mean, it's hard to see anything. There is already something. Okay, the bump amp is too high. And is, but the rest is fine. Okay, I will hit cancel now. And let's go to the exposure control one more time. We'll use here setting 7. Let's go to the map here. Let's go here and we'll not, not use 30 but just 15. Probably the same here. Or something similar. Okay, 15. Now, I will do again test render here, but I will change this. A bit lower and we will see. <coughs> mm, okay, uh, okay, the bump map is still too high, I will tell. So I will make just few changes for exposure I will place back here. I'll go to perspective, select one of my lights, make it a bit colder again. Go to camera and for my preview. And I will go here just with seven. Here just one Check here something. 
everything is great and I'll make let's say the final render of that because I think it should be already fine let's go by 350 and make the render so I hope it will be fine now I'm really so sorry for the few times which I did with really some mistakes which I didn't want to do but I did and I got in panic and if you got in panic you always do more and more mistakes at once so sorry for that and so far I hope you liked the tutorial anyway we'll wait for a while after the render we will do some post production Photoshop and so on so uh, Anyway, I hope you liked uh, the modeling part. As you can see, when we choose the right primitive, the modeling part was easy. If you will choose really the sphere, which you can try, uh, you will have problems with that for sure. And I hope also you liked the Photoshop part, even that it was again uh, some panic down there because I thought uh, it would be very, very quick, and at the end it wasn't so quick. Uh, I'm sorry for that, but. I don't think I did any mistakes which are really bad. I really just did some small stuff which is absolutely fine. Okay, so we'll wait until it will be done. Which will be very very soon. And I think I will change here something. Or better I will not change them much but something. Okay, first of all it's the last thing which I will change on that. I will select my model, deselect this, group it, because I want, uh, would like to rotate that, and I will go to rotation tool to local and I will rotate it to see to treat this first sign here. So something like this. I will change a bit the lights. Uh, at the end I will make it a bit warmer it's too cold and first of all I will do the ambient inclusion render because I, I would like to join this after in Photoshop so to surface we will apply this ambient distance to zero go to render setup and we will turn on natural override just drag it there. You can also try to make some uh, reflections there, but I don't think we need any. <gasps> Oops. We can s no, no, it's cool. Okay, the settings of exposure is, I think, fine. Yes, it is. So uh, I'm lucky. <coughs> so we'll make quickly this ambient occlusion map, then we will render quick. Uh, final render and merge in Photoshop and we'll be done. <coughs> so I think this part was more for Photoshop rendering than for modeling. I really the modeling was very fast. But uh, what I saw on the net, this is the only tutorial for this kind of ball which really make it right and to the end. So I hope you like that. I'm really trying to do it the best I can, but it's also a problem if you don't make some preparation for that, like I usually not do anything, uh, then you can uh, get to problems. <coughs> so just, yes, you can say it's my fault. Well, it is. So, copy the image, let's find Photoshop here. New, place it there. So, the first render, of course. We'll turn off the material override in the setup here and make the render really the final one. <coughs> yeah, I, I like this angle a bit more because I can see our logo there. So, uh, what you could do better here, of course, you can try uh, make a bit more on the on the map. <coughs> Maybe the bump which we have there is not the right should be something other. I like this bump because it's really the a real ladder which you can buy somewhere it's very expensive and so on. 
So, but you can use something other, some, something like a fabric, which is co more common than this. You could also make a bit more on the models. Uh, you can do the bump map also here, like make the spots here around where should be the holes for the uh, sewing uh, which we have there. Uh, you could use uh, or you could model the sewing directly from our model, which I told it would be not already for the basic, but it will take a lot of time to do. And you could do a lot, a lot, a lot of more changes. But uh, you could also keep it like this. If you like what I did. Okay. Very, very <coughs> slowly, but we going to do to the end. Now, uh, as you can see, we did also a bump. Oh, the bump bump is, uh, uh, you can see also here, but uh, we did uh, the texture that it's already bump. Um, I think this is a bit advantage than just to think that, okay, this texture can be flat, Anyway, I'm using bump map in Max, and it will be the same. Yeah, uh, 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 it's not the same, trust me. And also, because this, I uh, was trying to keep uh, a lot of attention to the texture, really to make it looking realistic. And I think the result is very, very nice. I like it. Anyway, I didn't know that it would be so nice looking at the end. Yeah, I'm surprised, like you, maybe. So let's copy this. Let's go to Photoshop. Place here. Let's try multiply on that. So maybe to 50. So we'll make all the shadows more darker, which is cool. It's better in this moment. And what else we can do? Uh, we can apply a new layer just for sure. We can apply on that layer a bit of Gaussian blur. So of course too much. Just a bit, like zero zero three probably. Just a little bit. And the only thing or the next thing which I will do will be also the end will be that I will make here these nice black stripes. Which I usually do in everywhere. I don't know, I like it. It's like a border. And I really like if you don't have uh, empty photo, but it's really some kind of border there, which is making uh, the 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 start and the end of the of the image himself. I'm thinking if to keep the blur. Oh, I will not keep the blur. I will make it original how it was by the render. So. Okay, here is our final image, and I think the tutorial is also over. So uh, just to the end, uh, thanks for watching. I hope some techniques, if in Photoshop or in 3ds Max, you'd like, and <coughs> that you enjoyed really the tutorial. And again, sorry that I did a few mistakes. So I hope to see you by some next interesting tutorial. And so far, I wish you a nice day. Bye bye.